After a few weeks of playing with the seven sets of doubles, we've moved on to single up and see how our squats are. Ryan did a couple reps with 225 and on to the singles here at 250. Form's looking pretty darn good. 275, give a vote of confidence for the next one. And here comes 295 for a PR. Three pound PR. Myself, I can't really say where I am these days. I'm over four plates. But, uh,. I believe this is a 395. Scratch that. That was a 365. This is a 395. And we break out the overweight plates. Four plates with a couple running heavy and a quarter on each end. So a uh, 417 squat. I'm happy to get it. So after that, we moved on to reps and uh, picked something that was, I think, 10 reps would equal our number one PR. Ryan's pressing 220 here. Gets six reps out, and as he's standing there, he gets a cramp. I honestly forget it was arm, leg. I think it was in his arm. But he gets a cramp and decides, the heck what I'm done with the set, and parks the bar. A real nice set. I, on the other hand, chose, with Ryan's suggestion, something equal to my number one PR of 460. That second rep right there, by the way, I was going for speed, and I kind of caved forward and tried to push through it. It didn't work so well, so brought it up from a dead stop. Anyway, we had figured 315 for 10, and with Ryan comparing it up, and in all fairness, to my best ever squat of 460, we elected to go with the 345. And I got eight reps out of it. Thought about going for another one after the eighth. And I thought, you know, I really don't need to hurt myself. I really don't need any more injuries right now. Park the bar and call it quits. So, closing credits here. And then just for fun, I left our accessory work on the end. So, it was about five minutes of... T-bar rows and leg extensions and leg curls. Just something to have once in a while added in there. Stick around and watch if you want. Skip it if you don't. So I guess this isn't such a bad time to explain what's going on with the shoulder. Had a tremendous week a couple weeks ago. Hit 385 on the bench. Was real, real happy with it. And I felt like I was on top of the world. And I went on to do incline bench and dumbbell bench and, and, well, some flat bench. But then the next day did some dips, which I think are my complete nemesis. I don't think I need to be doing dips at all. But uh, did some dips, did a bunch of push-ups. Just really overdid it, feeling like I was unbreakable. And, well, I broke so I didn't get an immediate injury, but I went into the next Saturday hurt and uh, just sore. You know, shoulders kind of sore, everything a little sore, and I benched. And I got a 365, and I think it hurt me, even though I went on for a 285 for 13 after. And uh, so the week following, I checked it out. I got, I think, a 315 press. I was hoping for 335. Somehow or another, anyway, I got 315. Next week, I think I got 315 again, or next workout, and then I wanted a 35, and uh, that's where I found out I just needed to lay off it and take it easy. I don't think I really hurt myself any worse doing the extra work, but uh, come last week, I got a set of bands, and uh, attempt to measure them and see how far they stretch under certain amounts of weight. I had 55 pounds hanging on a chain, and it fell off a box, and then I reached out, arm extended, and grabbed that chain while it was falling. I tore something in my shoulder a little bit. Pulled, strained, tore, 
whatever the case, I made it worse. So here just about a weekend. It's getting better. It's making improvements. I think I've definitely got a little rotator cuff damage. Hopefully something that will heal up over the next couple of months and be good to go. But uh, take it easy. Won't be much to see farming on the bench from here out. And hopefully when I get back into it, I test my signal based on my reps compared to the chart. Work my way up until I'm real confident for some heavy bench again. But uh, yeah, we'll look for that somewhere around the turn of the year to hopefully get back up there again. January, February are always PR months for me anyway. So hopefully this year it can be the same way. Anyway, if you stuck around through all these leg extensions and leg curls, congratulations. Nothing more to see but repeating the same. I'll check in later.